Hello everyone. Uh, today's topic is uh, direct and indirect costs. This is another topic which is not um, directly from international financial reporting standards. It's rather a topic from management accounting. However, many of the international financial reporting standards, for example, the ones that you won't see on this slide, have to do with these terms. So let's try to understand them. Costs can be uh, classified into direct and indirect, or also known as overheads, and overheads can be classified into production and general. To illustrate this classification, let's think about a small business that produces and sells freshly squeezed juices, apple juice and orange juice. So, the business, as any business, it incurs uh, costs and it wants to earn more than what it's spent. So it's very important for them to price um, the juices in a good way so that uh, they recover what they spend on them. How do, they, how do we know how much one a glass of juice costs? Well, the most obvious thing that happens when you produce one glass of juice is that you spend something for apples and you spend something uh, because you need to pay a wage to the person who squeezes it. So when we speak purely about uh, apple juice, these 900 which you see on this slide is the most obvious cost incurred by the business to produce it. And when we speak about orange juice, the logic is going to be the same. So first of all, uh, we spend for oranges and uh, then we pay a wage to the person who squeezes the juice from the oranges. The question is, is that the cost of orange juice and is that the cost of the apple juice? Should you look at this amount when pricing? Well, you certainly do look at this amount. Uh, however, these are not the only costs incurred by the business. So you have to take account also uh, of the remaining costs incurred by the business, of the remaining costs that are shared. And these costs are called uh, indirect costs uh, or more commonly overheads. Overheads can be classified into production and general. So production overheads are shared costs, costs that are shared by uh, two or more goods and have to do with production, and general overheads, which are also shared by two or more goods, uh, but have to do with something other than production. So let's look at examples of production overheads. These are the examples I thought about. Depreciation of the juicer and monthly salary of the production supervisor. So um, you have a juicer and let's assume that you use the same juicer for apple juice and for orange juice. Well, certainly when you price apple juice, you think about what you spend for apples, you think about what you, the salary that you pay to your employee, but is that the only thing you think about? You spend something for buying a juicer and you expect to get what you spent on it from selling apple juice. So one portion of this cost uh, will be included in the price of one glass of juice, uh, be that apple juice or orange juice. I'm not saying uh, how this is distributed because it's tricky. It's, it's a separate topic in itself. So, but what I would like to emphasize it, to emphasize is that this is an expense, uh, this is a cost that requires allocation between different uh, products or between different units of products. The same goes to general overheads. So general overheads are also shared costs and their difference, what distinguishes them from the production overheads is that they have nothing to do with the production. But these, but these are costs that are needed by the business, obviously, because otherwise no one would incur them. The examples uh, uh, I've come up with are the following ones. Monthly salary of the salesperson. Again, this uh, one portion of this amount has to be included in the price of every glass of juice that you sell. The same goes to monthly rent, uh, advertisement, or plastic glasses. So what happens is that the only difference um, 
between these expenses, these costs and the cost from the previous slide is that the previous ones relate to the process of production and these ones do not. That was it about direct and indirect costs. Um, thank you very much for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in comments. Bye.